Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is a regularly scheduled meeting of the Sunderland Select Board. Uh, the date is April 19th. The time is 6.32 by uh, our uh, Comcast-provided clock that I see. First order of business is approval of the April 11th minutes. Uh, motion. I second it. I have a motion made and seconded to accept as presented the minutes of April 11th. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Tree zero. Although I wasn't here, the governor says, in his infinite wisdom, says I can vote. So that one doesn't make sense to me, but whatever. Mm -hmm. New business, warrant review and recommendations. Jeffrey? Yeah, so a mm. couple weeks ago, um, you went through and voted to add uh, articles to the warrant and the warrant needs to be signed no later than this Friday so that we can get it posted um, a week before town meeting. So this is uh, the opportunity to make recommendations or any final amendments. There were three articles um, that we were leaving on the warrant for now, but considering using ARPA funds, um, the Sunderland Elementary School Retirement, the Phase 2 Needs Assessment for the Senior Center, and the Mosquito Control District. Okay. Um, so I think those would be the... So you want recommendations now, right? Yes. All right, Article 1. Oh, wait, wait, we might have some Finance Committee, sorry. Oh, okay. Just trying to join to... I can't see who that is. All right, are you all set now? Yes. All right, Article 1. The, uh, the hear reports from the select board and the school committee and all other officers and boards. Motion to recommend? Motion to recommend. I second. All motion made and seconded. Any discussion? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Okay, Article 2, we don't make a recommendation on. Because that's, that's, yeah, okay. Our, yep. Yep. Article C 3, to see if the town rate, vote raise is, uh, that's our budget. Yes. All right, so are we happy with our budget? Did you discuss that last week? Uh, yeah, there, there have been no changes to the budget. Okay. Kay has uh, finance committee. Were they were they here last week? Uh, they did not no. have a quorum. No. no. Yeah. Did they vote or did they have? have? No. Nope. Are you guys ready to vote on the budget? Yeah. Want any more discussion? I don't think so at this point. Okay. I'll I'll entertain a motion. I motion we recommend Article Three. Second. Let's come back to because we still have the thing about the mosquito control and everything, right? Um, That's a separate one. That was right? it. It was a separate warrant article, um, so it wasn't included. Was not included in the operating budget. You, this all right, year. not in the operating budget. Right. Okay. All right. Motion made and seconded to uh, uh, to recommend the budget as presented. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero. Article 4 is the capital budget. Got some folks in person tonight. Nice. Hey, that's awesome. Nice. <laughs> the Alex and all of that's good. Okay. So I guess we have. Hello, finance. Hello. How are you? <laughs> good. Thanks Not for bad. Us. Rushing over. Yeah. All right, we'll, we'll come back on Article 4. Article 5. The uh, the uh, I think that's the elementary school um, sick buyback. Yeah. So were you looking to do this from ARPA funding? That was the suggestion. So the latest budget document has uh, about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars in free cash remain that would carry 
or that would be unspent um, if this article and the next two articles are not used for free cash. Guys, what do you think, Finance Committee? <laughs> Let's right. get up and running. <laughs> what, 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 we'll get, we'll get you, all right, we'll go. David? Well, I was just thinking while they're doing that, like, what, what, like, what's the best way to do we withdraw it on the floor or just remove it here now? Like, what's the best way mechanically if we decide to go with ARPA for it, you know? Because we could do it either way, right? Yes. So let, let's discuss. Let's discuss before we just talk about getting rid of it. We can. We can all. We can in in the in the at the town meeting. We can just. I, and again, I have no. I have no problem keeping this on, so that people understand what we're doing. Right, because that's what I'm thinking. So Maybe I would. I would the meeting. Right. So I wouldn't take anything off, but I would. I would. I would make the motion in town at town meeting, and then. Right. I and would we explain what really quick if the moderator allows us, Michael. And then <laughs> I would I would then make a I would I would then make a motion to if we decide to go with ARPA money, then right, to withdraw and have an to withdraw, right? Yeah. Or we can talk to Michael about if, how we can do that. But but how how do you want? Do you, what are you thinking about the money? So does that open it up though to anyone else? Saying, well, why aren't you using ARPA money for this, and why aren't you using well, ARPA money for that? That's the one downside to it. Is then you know you could turn it into a bigger discussion. You know, <clears throat> and it's not that it, the discussion is bad, but it's just like you don't want to then start questioning everything. Correct. In that form, which could have, but so that's the risk with that. But you know. It's, I mean, because to a certain extent, it's six and one half dozen the other in a way. You know what I mean? Whether we're going to fund this, or, you know, you could probably make a good argument for a lot of things either way. So, what do you guys think? Well, if you take it out, what's the benefit of taking it out before <clears> it gets there? You could. You can do that too. We take. You can. You, we could just remove the article. Yeah. And we're taken out of if we take. If we take. The, the only thing is, I, I would question, Jeffrey, how much are we looking at this year? It's, what, $37,000? $34,000. I mean, 34, and, and when we, what we did is we asked a school to kind of give us a projection over the next five and 10 years. Yeah. Did you see that email also? Yep, yeah. So it looks like they're gonna be using 20 to 50, Sixty thousand dollars over the next five, ten years. So it, it, and it does have to. It does have lead to the conversation. Well, if the school knows, if if we know this is happening, shouldn't we be budgeting for it? Exactly. Yeah, and it's the question of the mechanics because, like we. said in the past we don't want them to just say all right well let's up the budget by that amount they went through three you yeah, know three um, modifications of the budget right so was that nine percent and six percent that's roughly nine 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 six three yeah and is that because they took this out originally now it's no like this year in other words yeah. or no ah. we had we asked them what was it probably three four years ago maybe or so to to break it out because what would happen is you'd say, all right, well, we need sixty thousand dollars, so let's add that into the budget, and then the budget's up by sixty thousand. Then say next year you don't need it. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to call it out, and it is one of those things that eventually will fade away because we've stopped doing that type of stuff because it wasn't the whole point of like sick leave and things like that. But you have to phase it out over time. So that's the. So it was. It was trying to get more. Um, more when you're looking at right? when you're looking at a, when you're looking at at the time was looking at the school budget was trying to just bring everything relative. So it it, it was a way to do it. I, I don't, I'm not saying it's the best way or wrong, the right way, wrong way, but it but it brings it out and it, and it brings it and instead of just adding that sixty thousand to the school budget now. 
We, we know where we're starting from every year. But we, sh and, and I could always say we're using ARPA money this year because this is something when we talk to the school, it's looking like, so we're, 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 we need to put something in our budget how we're going to cover this for going forward. So, so this year it's ARPA so that we can start, now, now we got that 37,000, instead of using 37, 34,000 this year from free cash, it's there so that we can, it's that seed money that we're going to need going forward. So it, it is a discussion. Yeah, yes. and I'm guessing it's an accounting discussion, right? Because like, do they have any mechanism to, to set up like a, you a can't. fund where they say that? You and can't. that's the problem. You know what I mean? Because it would be nice if you could. Well, we used to save for, save we used, for a long time ago, we used to save for fire trucks. Yeah. Now we can't do that. Okay. Technically. Yeah. Right, Jeff? Yep. Technically, Technically, we can't save for a fire truck or. Well, like whatever. Well, it doesn't make sense to me, yeah. but I mean, most household, if you ran it like a house, most households, if you have a I'm big ticket item, you would save for try it. Try to sock away, yeah. In the old days, but maybe not so much today. But. Right, just pull out the credit card. Today, right? yeah. pull out the credit card. <laughs> so, I, I, or, or, we, or we can just use it on free cash. We just take it, take it, you use it on free cash? We can. How, how do you have it right now? How do you have it being used? ARPA. And that's about two or three percent of ARPA right now, right? Thirty-seven out of two million. A million. Oh, it's only a million of ARPA. Okay. I mean, it's probably cleaner to keep it out of ARPA at this point, but you know. Yeah. And then have a discussion. I I don't think yeah. it would be a long discussion. I just think. No. I, yeah. I for me, it's just it's warning it's it's warning our town residents that this is going to be coming back every year. We, right. Fortunately, we have we have a way to kind of we know it's coming. We're putting money, you know, it's in free cash for so when they see it next year and the year after, this is how how we're able to to do that. And in some ways, I think it's good to call it out so that people see and understand it. You know what I mean? Because otherwise, it would just kind of get lost in the noise of the of the school budget. And it's good to see that called out on its own. I think. Well, I also think it's good because people understand that when when you sit down and negotiate contracts, contracts have a a short term the the two percent pay raise or or that right. sometimes is the the right like the in your face kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah. but but really there's there, there's there's a stuff. This is a a, a legacy that's mm -hmm. been in there for years and years and years, both at Frontier and on the elementary schools. So yep. it's very okay. true. All right, so recommendation. We have a motion made. How are you? Oh, no, we didn't. Uh, let's see, hold on. For five? I motion we recommend Article 5 to be paid from ARPA. Yeah. Second. The motion made and second. We don't have to say ARPA. Yeah, yeah I was just going to oh, say because I was looking at it. It says provide a sum of money. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah, th this, this is the. Yeah. You just pay for it. Okay. And then yeah. at town meeting is right. when then we'll talk about it on the floor. In the motion. That'll be in the motion. This is just a warrant. This is the notification. Um, does the finance committee want to be voting their recommendations now too? We have quorum. Yeah. Alex is on as well, so we can start as well. Yeah. Well, we were going to vote and they can vote. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, you didn't you? Or did I interrupt before you could? Uh -huh. we, we had I, a motion made in second. Yeah, we didn't Sorry. finish the vote. We started right. it. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero. And do we do similar with motion and second? Yeah. All the motion that we pay the we pay a separate award for the town meeting. I'll second. Take a vote. Alex, Alex I think you. if you're there, <laughs> yeah. you might need to. There we go. And don't they have to say their name in the, since they're virtual? Is that the. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. Sorry, how do I vote on one? Can I do it through the chat or do you need verbal? You have to say your name and then yes or no, right? Yep. Yeah. 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 Alex, yes. Okay. Yeah, Alex. Uh, yeah, Alex. Um, 
she has to identify herself and record her thing by or they'll say that we're violating open meeting law. We don't want to do that. Right. Yeah. So I heard three yeses on Article 5 yeah. and no, zero no's. Not no no's. Okay. Zero. No no's. Take no's, thank you. And that for the votes. Perfect. Okay, Article 6 is the uh, Sunland share, the 25% share, the phase two study of the senior center needs assessment. And so this these is, three, this the next three are are, are put ones. Well, we're, right? we're not this. We're not talking about where the money's coming from. We're just yeah about Their potential. Our, right, our right. Ones. We'll so. talk about where it's coming in the motions. Yep. So uh, I make a motion to uh, recommend on Article Six. I second. Motion made and seconded on Article Six. All those in favor, recommend recommendation of Article Six. Please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. I'll make a motion. I second the motion to recommend Article Six. All those in favor can say aye. Alex. Alex, aye. Great, Sarah and oh, Joe. Oh, aye. Speak for yourself, aye as well. All those in favor, let's see. The vote is three zero on recommending Article Six. Okay, Article 7 is the Mosquito Valley, Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control. I motion we recommend Article 7. Second. I have a motion made and seconded for recommendation on Article 7, which is the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control. All, any discussion? No discussion. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Finance committee motion that we accept Article 7. I will second the motion. Motion seconded. Oh, made and seconded to accept Article or recommend Article 7. We'll take a vote. Aye. Hello, aye. Vote is 3 0 to accept. Or recommend what's an appropriate term? Recommend Article Seven. Article Eight is to raise an appropriate transfer available funds for Sunland Share to replace the walk-in cooler from the Frontier Regional School District. Motion. Uh, motion to include. <laughs> Excuse me. Recommend. I second. Have both motion made and seconded to recommend article number eight, the Sunnos appropriation for the walk-in cooler at Frontier. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero, Jeff. I'll make a motion to recommend article eight. I second the motion. Motion made and seconded to recommend article eight. All those in favor say aye. 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 Alex, aye. Thank you. Let's have a vote of three zero to recommend article eight. Chilling topic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a dad joke. <laughs> yep. Oh, I had to do that. <laughs> yeah. Great dad joke. Yep. Yep. <laughs> article 10, we start the CPA no. monies. Yeah, nine. Oh, nine. Sorry. Article nine is the uh, transfer money into the stabiliz capital stabilization fund. Motion to recommend. Mm -hmm. I recommend article. We recommend article nine. Second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, all those in favor of recommending the cap funding the capital stabilization fund, please signify by saying aye. 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 Three zero, Jeff. Finance committee a motion that we recommend Article Nine statewide in the capital campaign fund. I will second that motion. All those in favor for recommending Article Nine can vote by saying aye. 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 Alex, aye. Thank you. We have three ayes. 
We're getting to be like a well-oiled machine. Huh? No, I know. Yeah. 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 Article 10. It's uh, appropriate 166000 from the CPA for the construction and renovation, for the renovation of the restroom building to increase accessibility and replace the recreation storage shed for the purpose of enhancing recreation in the park. Uh, motion to recommend. Second. <clears throat> I have a motion made and seconded. Any dis further discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 I'll make a motion to recommend Article 10. I second the motion. All those in favor of recommending Article 10 can do so by saying aye. 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 Alex, aye. Thank you. Stop there. Did I stop for the Article 11, to see the town vote to appropriate and transfer the amount of $100,000 from CPA Open Space Reserve Fund to the town's conservation trust for the acquisition of a parcel or parcels of land in the town of Sunderland and to authorize the Conservation Commission to acquire said interest in land upon such terms and conditions and for such consideration as it deems appropriate and to authorize the select board to grant a permanent restriction on said parcels pursuant to and meeting requirements of section 12 of chapter 44b of the general laws uh, a motion to recommend i second okay we have a motion made and seconded um this will just be a continuation of sunderland's support of preservation of critical open spaces in town all those in favor signify by saying aye aye three zero jeff I just have a motion to recommend Article 11 to help um, protect uh, usable <laughs> open spaces, open spaces <laughs> land, uh, in Sunderland. I will second that motion. Um, all those in favor can. I'm sorry. Um, all those in favor state aye. 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 Thank you. The vote is 3 0. Article 12 is, a, is, is basically a housekeeping for the uh, community, community Preservation Committee. And basically what it does is, is by statute, the town needs to be, every year needs to put money into the Historic Resource Reserve also and that's 10 percent of the total 10 percent of the community goes into community housing reserve and 10 percent goes to the open space reserve so those those values are spelled out and then for any additional monies it's we need to put them into what they call the undesignated budget reserve so this calls all that out and that's article 12. I motion we recommend article 12. Second. We have a motion made and seconded. <coughs> All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Jeff 3-0. Yeah, I'll make a motion to, for the Finance Committee, recommend article 12. I second the motion. All those in favor of this recommendation can say aye. 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 <laughs> I know, I had to stop and say aye. I was going to do that earlier too. I just said aye. It's like a conditioned response. Yeah. Right. It's like, oh, I got a vote. I'm looking at the screen going, um. okay. <laughs> okay, Article 13 is basically um, the general laws according to chapter 44 section 53 and a half which which authorizes uh, spending limits for the revolving funds and the revolving funds would include the wire inspector plumbing inspector board of health the public library community room the fire inspector and the highway shared equipment fund motion to recommend I second that 
this time you can say. Okay. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Three zero. Yes. Yep. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I just made a motion to recommend Article 13. I will second the motion. All those in favor of this recommendation, Article 13, say aye. Except Crystal. Aye. Aye. <laughs> Alex, aye. Thank you. Uh, I must have. Uh, three zero. Why can't the move back? The screen keeps moving back. Article 14 is a, is a, will allow the town to amend Section 3119 of the Code of Sunderland, which is in the personnel bylaws. Mm -hmm. And basically what it's doing is it's deleting, um, and, and this is all, but basically it's taken the names of specific holidays and instead of having the specific holidays name, is saying they want to insert all holidays enumerated in Master in the Law, Chapter 4, Section 7, 18, that are applicable to Sunderland shall be recognized as legal holidays within the meaning of this chapter, and regular employees will receive these days off with pay. Uh, motion to recommend. I second it. We have a motion made and seconded. Any discussion? I made my feelings known, so yep. I won't discuss <laughs> it again. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Two to one. Um, Finance Committee, do, you, do they want you on this vote also because it deals with money, I guess? Oh, okay. Consent ones? Yeah. No. I will make a motion to recommend Article 14. Second the motion. Article 14. Motion has been made and seconded. Um, all those in favor of recommending Article 14 can vote by saying aye. 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 Alex, aye. The vote is. Three zero. Okay, articles fifteen through twenty are our current sent articles. Um, do this every year, and basically allows the town to to do what the town does. Yep. Recommendation on the consent articles. Uh, motion to recommend. I second it. Okay, motion made and seconded for recommendation on the consent articles. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Aye. Jeff, three zero. Motion yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. We do. Um, it, because it does authorize are, like the borrowing of yeah, funds. Yeah, okay. there's some stuff in there. Okay. Uh, motion to recommend articles 15 through 20. I will second the motion. All those are in favor of recommending articles 15 through 20, the consent articles, say aye. 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 Alex, aye. And I think Finn comes to to circle back to two, three, and four as well. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Um, do you mind if we? Yeah. Well, uh, you can do three, and okay. we'll go back and do four. We we had voted yes on three, okay. but we held on four for you guys. We oh, definitely, you. you guys okay. are coming in. Um, let's scroll back to three, Article Three, to see if the town will vote to raise and appropriate transfer from available funds or otherwise provide a sum or sums of money for the town and general municipal purposes connected therewith for fiscal year 2023, or take any vote or votes in relation thereto. I motion to recommend Article 3. I will second the motion. Um, motion has been made and seconded to recommend Article 3. All those in favor say aye. 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 Alex, aye. The vote is 3 0. Thank you. Article 
Okay. Now, Article 4, to see the town will vote to appropriate a sum or sums of money for the fiscal year 2023 capital budget. So basically, this is the capital budget article. Motion? Uh, motion to recommend. Second it. Have a motion made and seconded to recommend the capital, the presented capital budget plan. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Jeff, three zero. Can we make a motion to accept Article 4, the capital budget? I'll second the motion. All those in favor of recommending Article 4, say aye. 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 Votes aye. Thank you. The vote's 3 0. And I think the Finance committee needs to re vote to rec whether or not to recommend Article Two. Two is okay. Yeah, and that's it. Um, article Two states: You see, at the top, will vote on the provisions of da, 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 da. <laughs> set the salaries and compensation of all elected officials. I will make a motion to recommend Article Two. I will second Article Two. Motion for Article Two. Motion made and seconded to recommend Article 2. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Alex, aye. Thank you. Those three, zero. All right. Sort of finance, did you guys want to talk anything about the budget? Are there any questions that you have? Oh, we did all those other meetings. For me, it's good. Good work, Jeff. Good team. David? Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Talked about it a couple of times before, so yeah. <laughs> so, so at town meeting, <clears throat> will will you want to have a a short? Presentation. Do you want to do a short presentation on the budget? You want to talk about the high points as you see it? Can. What's the usual? Is it usually the fin plan? finance? The yeah. finance committee usually makes a statement on the budget. Okay. You know. How, so, yeah. if, if you guys want, Jeff, you. Happy to huddle up in yeah. person or yeah, via nice. email, and, or, and you know you can kind of make you can kind of make a you know the, the high points of the budget. Yep. Okay, and that way you know the chair, or one of one of the de designated one of the members, or or it can be a joint. We we don't care, mm -hmm. but if you like to make you know talk about the budget, that's well within your what they would expect. You know. Yeah. Do you have any? from the past or templates or yeah it's just, it each finance each chair does sing differently you know yeah sometimes it's off the cuff sometimes it's a prepared statement um if you want i mean it's for because it's kind of new work through the first time jeff can help you and and talk about you know over you know the over overall you know total budget percent growth um areas areas that you know, no filibustering. No, um, you, just you, you can you can try, but usually, so you know, <laughs> yeah. the only thing we can say is that 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 moderator that walk, moderator's been there since 1675, and the <laughs> the, uh, the, ne the moderators oh, have Mike never lost a they've never <laughs> lost a case in court. So uh, yeah. they're very proud of that. So whatever they say, it's their meeting. They can rule you out of order for oh. color shirt you're wearing. Who the heck knows? So. Yeah, you talk to him ahead of time. Right, Michael? Up, and then when we get to Article 3, you can... Yeah, it depends. I might be cranky, so you never know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <same. So> I, <laughs> I was saying, Tom said you've been around since 1675, so it's time to... Time I'd to be cranky. <laughs> yeah. And what's the order? Would we be early on, after you... You could do it. Number 3. With the article, when we get to Article 3, out. yeah. Perfect. Uh, Michael, are you going to want to look at uh, the, num the numerations of the article? Are you... Are you okay with them, or did you want to call Jeff and talk about? I and mean, we don't have too much. I mean, we got to. 
you know, it, it's really your, I mean, we put the stuff on, but you you number it. No, I, I'm comfortable with what I've seen. Okay. Um, but I, I will probably talk to Jeff this week. Um, yeah, you don't have any of those finance committee, I mean, not finance, but uh, planning board uh, zoning change questions. So that, you know. No, it's put, pretty, it looks pretty straightforward to me. That put us to sleep, I mean, that. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, yeah, that, when it looks straightforward, you usually get troubled anyway. Okay. All right. Um, good. So, did did you did is there anything you'd like to talk about in the budget that you guys have may have questions on? I, I mean, I think we'll if you don't mind huddling and yeah, get on of course. the same page on what we think are highlights, ask details. I mean, we've been to most of the meetings. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna sneak up on us. So, is there, I mean, does it make sense to do it? Really next week? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yeah. Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Thursdays are always good for me, but we can yeah. I schedule time. something right, after. We'll, we'll check in. Just no matter what you plan for, there's always going to be some topic that comes up that nobody ever thought would be oh, yeah. like ripe for discussion. I remember one year we spent a whole, t at least. 20 minutes, half hour on fire hoses. Well, that'd be our next so. question. Where Culverts this year. I'm yeah, sure. it could be. <laughs> yeah. The audience yeah. directs questions. How, is it, how are they received? I mean, do the select board first? Or will they ask us directly? Where, where do we. Um, it, you know that's that's a great question. Yeah, it depends. On um, the it, it we we have tried for a long time to be able to to look at the budget and try to be anticipate where questions may come from. Right. Of course, I, I mean, you, and we will spend usually a lot of time on a hundred dollar thing. Mm -hmm. In, in particular, like the town clerk every other year because the, the way the election cycles. So you'll see a 68% mm -hmm. increase in the town clerk's line item. It's 68%, but it's like $100, exactly. right? And we'll, we'll talk a lot about that. So the town clerk has that one down pretty well to explain it, and that will come up this year. Um, but we, tr so the select board may be more, um, Typically, they'll look at us for the first answer, mm -hmm. but you guys can jump right in there and and just get just just get recognized by the moderator, and 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 or and don't be and you may you may have something that you don't agree with. Like there's one thing that I voted no on. I have I I have personal reasons for that. So, did some will say why they support it, and I will. If somebody asks, well, why there's one vote, and I'll say, well, this is why I say no. So yeah, I, I mean, we don't don't we we want people to we get one shot at this. So the, and and again, we try we try we try to to anticipate the questions. Yeah. Jeff Jeff will have you know like the insurance questions. He'll have all that documentation mm -hmm. for the insurances and 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 kind of stuff from. But, and we will have the, our department heads will be there, be able, should be able to help, so. Yeah, because there's typically maybe a highway department question or yeah. a police right. department related question. Now, now we're in the room, we're not public now, right? This is closed session? No, no, no we're, we're, we're not we're we're live. Yeah, we're, 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 oh, we, the, we're three streaming of, live. the three of us can <laughs> never, we can never talk okay. outside without a posted meeting. Yeah. So I mean, the elephant room is gonna, be, it could come out that, Insurance question. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're well, yeah. and, 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 and just so you know, so someone could, let's say, any, somebody from the floor could say that they want to increase it to 65%. Okay? And, and what we would require, moderator would require, is A, that you put that down in. Yeah, on, in writing, it has to be in writing. 
The other thing is you'd have to, we, we would know how much it would, a ballpark figure of what it would cost, because somebody would say, somebody would say, well, how, how much is that going to cost? And you'd say $50,000, or Jeff would, Jeff, Jeff would account, or Jeff or our treasure collector would have a number. And then we'd have to try to fund it somehow. And, or, or the moderator could just say he could rule it out because it's outside the scope of the warrant, which would probably, and again, I don't, again, it's a mod, mod, moderator's prerogative, but the warrant doesn't include that, and he could rule it. Um, you can, it's easier to go but down stick it than to the warrant. So the moderator could do that. Is it fair to step in and say, like, we, we, we know this is a serious concern that we've spent you know, a lot of discussion on it, and that it's something that we're looking for? continue to discuss is that fair to say yeah, yeah. And, that's yeah. What we and, and like we've yeah. all seen it's a complicated thing yeah. you can't just look at it and say oh well you know this is cheap you know, there's a lot a lot of information behind the scenes so you know anybody who's dealt with that going back and forth with your company over the years or whatever knows yeah. 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 there's all sorts of cost of living things that aren't embedded in it. but right. is the personnel committee represented too or is it just finance and uh, Hopefully there'll be somebody. I mean, <laughs> I hate to say it, but I, yeah, I was just she, an Chris, I. like because there's always a select board member who's it was on, on the, the committee on too. the personnel. So I'm on the personnel yeah. committee. Yeah. yeah. And and they and they had a lot of discussions mm -hmm. about well, that. I, know. I, I talked yeah. to Mike about it. I mean, big Mike. Mike yeah. W, you know, it's good for us to chat about. It. Yeah. Yeah. And and, and inevitably, somebody will ask the question. They'll just stand up and ask it, and then somebody will say, "Can you use the microphone, please?" <laughs> Which always happens. So. And where do we sit? Do we sit near? Up at the front. Yeah. <laughs> so have, like if we're here, you, then we'll, we're like to the up on the stage. Yeah. We're to one side, and you guys. Are so to the other you want to be there like a half hour or early, so you go to makeup. They have you yeah, have makeup yeah. and do we're makeup. <laughs> yeah, so they, they <laughs> you know the powder and. <laughs> Straight. But yeah. but you 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 know and and, and so when, when when you go through, and again we go we go through we we go through the um, we have we have the the detailed line item mm -hmm. budget so someone someone could go down and, and say like there there's a there's an increase of and again picking on the town clerk there's a forty three percent increase in elections and registration. And and we would have the the detailed budget, and you could you could say why, and basically because the the expenses, and because we have more elections this year because of federal and state and cost for people, and we actually buy them sandwiches. Because we used to go line by line through it, now we go we we mention a category, and we say, all right, here's this category. Does anybody want to put a hold on it for discussion? Okay. And then, so that way you know, okay, cover all the categories, and we only have to talk about like two of them in detail. So, now the last question if I have a minute of it right now, like I think you all know, but like I'm there's an impaired, I, I don't leave the line, I can't read anything here. You know, accessibility is an issue. Should when I do things like this in the past, usually teaching or lectures and things, I kind of memorize everything or kind of yep. how familiar should I be with all of this, or should I have it in front of me printed and use my magnifier? Like, how. I won't be able to read it well, on board. So, I, one of the things I want to say is I don't think you have to answer any question, right? Okay. right? I, I think it's our opportunity right. to say they're the ones who are voting, we're convincing you to do it. So, right. I did, if, there, <laughs> if there's something that's not uncomfortable, um, I mean, you I. Get the books, right, that everybody gets. The select board. Uh, I don't know that we create. We don't do them the, for the finance committee, probably. Uh, no, the the physical motion books for the finance committee. Um, we can always we can, give you one of our copies I'm or something. I'm familiar with most of it. I just want to know how much. Again, I, I think Jeff, that's good advice. I don't have. So, but I, I, yeah. I just want to be prepared to support. And I possible. will. I will have a printout of my of the budget for myself and everything. So if you want, you can say, hey, Jeff, what was the line? You know, and I could read it off to you and then you, be if bad that's helpful. Because I can zoom in. No, no. Okay yeah. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah, if you yeah, want to have whatever there. Oh, yeah, that's probably what I'll right. do next year. Bring the lights on. Yeah. You, you know, it's, it's many 
20 years ago, 22 years ago, 23 years ago, we had we had a there there was we used to give print annual reports out to everyone, and people used to go at or some people at the and and there was one gentleman that that didn't like it the way it was bound so. I, I we we would used to rip up we took it and we had it bound so that was easier so I, I, so you can bring whatever yeah. whatever you want yeah. with you yeah if that works yeah. for you I definitely recommend bringing and, your computer yeah. and if there's something you feel that you want to you you can as a matter of fact we should probably do that too and have a an electronic packet and then just like. Paper ones as a backup. And yeah. we'll have these. Yeah. And then bring these. That's what I. Yeah. That's easy to do. If we want to get really fancy. Yeah, because then you can zoom we in. We can. And PDF, store it on the town website. Yes. And you can QR definitely. code it so people come in, they can download it on their phone if they really want. Yep. Got what that? She, hey, That's fancy, said. huh? Hey, what she said. <laughs> yep. I can help you with the uh, QR code link. And just print it and put it right on the door. They walk in. I'll like do it, that, but I'm going to put a counter on how many people download oh, that no. and if it's less than five. Oh, you know it will be. <laughs> <laughs> if we have three downloads. I mean, <laughs> right how many now. menus have gone to QR codes and we can't figure them we'll out? We need a help desk there, you know? <laughs> well, now, yeah, now we're shooting the TV. They're putting the QR codes on the TV and you're, yeah, yeah. it's yep. like. Well, in every restaurant yeah. you go in now, too, you know, yeah, right. menus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I, and and I mean, if, if you don't if you don't feel comfortable talking about a particular subject, that's okay, you know. <coughs> yeah, I've been to town meetings where there's a question from the floor and nobody at the front of the room. Uh, they they said, "Does anybody want to answer?" And nobody raised their hand, and they moved on. <laughs> not not in Sunderland. <laughs> no, I'm saying, yeah, not in Sunderland. I would hope we, 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 we will we will we we try. Yes. We try. We try. We try to be able to understand the budget well enough that we're able to answer the questions between between the, the select board and the finance committee. Um, we will have an answer. I'm pretty sure about yeah, they may exactly. it may not be what someone wants to hear, but we yeah. will have an answer. That's a different issue. Yeah. All right. All right. So you don't have any questions? No, I'm good. Cindy's got one though. Cindy's got her. Oh, she doesn't anymore. Yeah. Okay. She had her hand up for a while. Yeah. Oh, there it she is. is again. Yes, Cindy. <laughs> I was just going to say, we'll have packets made for everyone, and it'll be on the finance committee tables as well for each of the members, so you'll have everything that the audience will have. So we're all going to use those bags this year like we have in the past because that was a preferred method, um, and it'll have the yes-no cards and all that stuff and all the handouts. Can I get that packet the day before? Or, or sure. Okay, because then I can, I can digest it a little bit. Sure, we can leave it outside for you or whatever is most convenient for you because the meeting's on a Friday, we'll be in on Thursday. Okay. You know, we can leave it at the back door or something. Whatever's best, oh. just let us know. Okay, I'll have a little city. Thank you. Or you can probably put probably. it in a box. In the hall, right? Mm -hmm. You guys have a box. Yeah, you can do that too. Yeah. You okay with the budget? We can do motions next week? Uh, yeah, we can do motions motion next, next week. week. Yep. All right. Michael, any other questions? You know, my only question is the usual question about the auditorium, which is hearing up on stage, just to make sure. I think last time, it's been so long since we had me there, but I think last time they had a couple of speakers facing our way. Uh, I just want to make sure of that. I don't remember who did the sound last time. I'm not sure it was FCAT, but... It, it was. I, I will... Yeah, because we had it set up like a concert so we could hear ourselves. I've been talking. With like the feedback monitors. Okay. And, and 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 so so, what what Michael's saying is that the we we we've always felt on on the up on the stage we've always felt uncomfortable because many times people in the audience will be asking questions we couldn't hear, mm -hmm. so it it may we we don't want to look disrespectful, but we could we just couldn't hear the last or, or stupid or stupid yeah <laughs> that too yep. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't need I don't need more help there. All right, so good point, um, hearing, hearing the questions is helpful. Yeah. And 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 that and and the last the last town meeting that we had, we actually could hear the questions. Yeah. And it was a it was a it was a big a big it change. was a big thing. Oh, yeah, speaking of cool. FCAT, hey, John, John, here's the person talk about to talk to. FCAT. Did you, you heard that, right, John? Yeah, I heard it. Okay. So, so we, we, we have had a problem in the past with the people on the stage not being able to hear the question. And, but you're, you're familiar with that, right? Uh, not really, but I am now. Thanks for bringing it up, Michael. Okay. We'll be discussing this this week and we'll come okay. up with a solution. Okay. So, it is because people in the past have complained about in the audience not being able to hear. I think that was taken care of, but. I know last year it was outsourced to a company to provide sound. That was outside though, right? Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not. I guess we've handled it in the past. I wasn't really involved with documenting those town meetings. I was usually always covering the Deerfield ones while they went on. Yep. So. Okay. So you have a week. And I know. Okay. Don't don't worry, John. We're not. I'm sure you'll do you'll do fine. So. Stack we have marshals in the back so the audience can hear, and then <laughs> feedback ones for us in the front will be good. No pressure, John. <laughs> I don't know, you know whether I should believe you or not. Uh, <laughs> so what if you have 250 people screaming at you, John? Someday it would be nice to have, to be able to have somebody submit a question in writing for a couple of reasons. One, it would solve audio issues. And two, I know people, some people are just not comfortable in a public setting getting up, you know, and asking a question. It'd be, some, it'd be nice someday to, to be able to solve that problem. Not going to get solved tonight, but just tossing that out there. And they did that for the, when the discussion about the masks last year at the school committee meeting. Yeah. And there was hundreds in the course of the topic, like hundreds of write-ins and then also questions on the spot. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I just keep it to like questions on the spot. Like, you know, you have to go to the meeting if you're going to, you know, ask a question for that. but. And, and and we want we want people to participate. So, yeah. but yeah, FCAT F, FCAT takes care of the the audio and the microphones and all of that stuff. I get not everybody's we'll comfortable. We'll mm -hmm. so, uh, see where our options are, and we we certainly can provide audio and make it work. So they usually have what like two floating batteries. I think. Or okay. Look into People. look into having somebody come out to do it. Also, now that might be the better option to do, but I don't know if that'd be possible because of how late it is at this point. So, yeah. I mean, we certainly can provide it. Who if, else can do? What else is going on on a Friday night? Music, no. concerts, movies, <laughs> yeah, uh, other town meetings. <coughs> okay. All right. I guess he's saying you don't come first. <laughs> I, That's I, what it boils I, I was, right down I was, to. I was hearing what he was saying, but I didn't believe yeah. he was saying that. Yeah. <laughs> well, I wasn't directing it at that too, of course. But. <laughs> All right, John. All right. Under a text of, had you come to me sooner? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? Yeah, Michael. Got a question? I'm good. I'm good. All right. Michael, good question. Anything else? Not for me. All right. David? Uh, <coughs> thank you. I'm good. Thank Finance you. Committee, we good? Yeah. All right. Without hearing no more, uh, Alex, you all set? Good. Without hearing anything more, let's uh, continue with our uh, thing. Next up is the uh, Tri-Town Beach membership. Yeah, so the... Tri-Town Beach Commission, um, uh, I think it was April 6th, sent a letter officially inviting Sunderland to join the Beach District, which I started researching and there's some 
legislative requirements for joining a special beach, beach district. Um, the letter also came with an assessment of, I think it was just north of $13,000 or $13,500. Um, and so I know there's, there's, there were a, a few weeks before that there was an inquiry to town. Who do we talk? Talk to and we brought it up and um, the chair said that he would converse with uh, Deerfield and Waitley about joining and, and what that might entail and then and then we got an invitation to join and, and uh, here's what it would cost. Um, we didn't really receive, I, I got some background material on how Deerfield had joined and how Sunderland had joined. Um, didn't get really a detailed budget, had a conversation with one of the commissioners about some of the plans that they have for the beach, what they'd like to see um, happen, what some of the challenges are and how they're going to approach it um, as far as, I guess I would call them protected invasive species, <laughs> um, a protected species that's there. And so I, I think that from my perspective, the challenge is it, it's a it's a request that requires town meeting action and has a budgetary impact, right. and we're getting it less than a month before our town meeting, and and so no, without any judgment about whether this is a good thing or a bad thing, just right. mechanically, it's, um, it's a, a too difficult late, I think. thing to do this year, yeah. in my opinion. That's what, that was my concern, you know, and then I had some questions too about because I know, especially with the warmer weather, it's been shut down a lot longer each year because of, <clears throat> you know, water quality issues and and things like that, just because of the nature of it. Yeah. But yeah, that was the mechanics of it because I knew we had to have a town meeting vote for it. So. Yeah. Okay. So, so basically what, what's going to happen is that we're going to start talking with the, the commission and, and see where it leads, then we'll bring it back. So if anybody in town thinks it's a good idea or want to, uh, want to join, uh, let us know. Your, 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 your voices would be very important for us to under, have an understanding if we're heading down the right path. And would it be helpful for me to draft a letter back to the commission just because they're going to be having their town meetings and need yep, I think, I think our budget decision impacts them as well if we're not particular. yeah tell, tell me I mean tell them just what you're saying we just need a little time yeah we, we you know we thank you for you know we're very intrigued by the offer that we were you know we there's a lot of things that we have to do um, to make it happen but but give us give us a little time to uh, Put our budget together, and we'd be very appreciative of that. Plus, so if anybody in town has questions, you know, you can ask us, and we can forward them on to them. Great. So the uh, mosquito spring opt out. Yes. So briefly, the background is last year. During the height of the pandemic, the state said, hey, we're going to create this new process where um, we're, unless you affirmatively opt out and create an alternative mosquito management plan, that's not exactly the right term, but um, that we approve of, we can spray in your town however we want, um, or whenever we deem it's necessary to, to protect public health, not whenever we want. Um, we tried to opt out uh, and were denied last year and uh, without much explanation, I, I think the general feeling was the, the region is at high risk and so even though Sunderland has no history of Tripoli or West Nile in the last five years, um, we, we were still denied. There was no spraying. They, it's important to, to clarify that if there were spraying, they would notify us, we would notify the residents, the type of spraying, the areas, it wouldn't just be, you see a plane. Right, some trails. Overhead. <laughs> um, so, 
but I, I, you know, the opportunity. So I know that our uh, representatives in the state legislature said, "Look, this pro we we told them this didn't work. It wasn't clear. There wasn't enough time to respond, and how they made their decisions weren't clear." Um, and they advocated really strongly <coughs> on our behalf. There was some additional information on what makes a, a good alternative management plan, um, additional information about each municipality and, and the risk factors. And again, Sunderland is a low risk community. So I'm, I'm hopeful that this year we will, we will be more successful if we um, choose to again to apply to opt out. Um, what I have not done, I think the deadline to apply is like the third week in May. And so I have not looked into how the application has changed in detail. I understand that it needs, the plan needs to be a little bit more in depth than what they seem to be asking for last year. Last year they said the minimum requirement is provide notice to people when something, you know, when there's a case or um, how to prevent mosquitoes. And this year, I think there's at least two more things that the plan has to include. So I have to look into what that would entail, but I expect it to pop up. And you still need to have input from the Board of Health. You still need to have a public meeting where you can get input from the public on the plan. So be looking for that. More to come. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so that, that's where that stands. And then as a result, we, have, we were a member of the Pioneer Valley Mosquito Control District last year. They put together a report for us. They did testing. They found no cases of arborovirus. Um, and so, you know, I, the, the Mosquito Control District is also looking at, although I have not heard that they're implementing additional services um, mm -hmm. to actually being able to offer some of the spraying. I know one of the concerns last year was aerial spraying and the effectiveness of aerial spraying versus ground spraying and, yep. and more targeted um, types of activities to control the mosquito population. So um, I think that that's sort of the plan right now. Okay. Okay. And basically we do have, we do, we do have, uh, have a report um, in the Pioneer Valley, West Nile was detected in Agwam, Hamden, Springfield, Hadley, Palmer, Leiden, Granville, South Hadley, and East Long Meadow. No Tripoli or West Nile positive mosquitoes were detected in Sunderland in 2021. Um, the risk designation for Sunderland is low for West Nile and remote for Tripoli. Um, and and I, I think having this and, and, it, and it goes the report does go through where where the uh, traps were set up and they're going to increase their 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 trap locations and so I think we should be fine and then, and then then we can actually have the conversation with the state hopefully again when we and even if you opt out of the spring doesn't prevent spring from occurring if you do end up with West Nile or Tripoli. You can still you can still work through. So okay. Um are any ARPA discussions tonight? Uh no we talked a little bit about potential use of ARPA funds. The only other thing to note is that the deadline for the first annual report on how we've spent ARPA funds or from March first, twenty 21 through March 31st, 2022 is due at the end of April. So I will be submitting that. And it does seem like it's uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. There is one thing. Don't which we have is, to yeah. vote on that, right? Uh, sorry, voting on whether or not that was, that was the main thing I was supposed to yeah. take a note on for myself. Um, on whether or not to designate the entirety of uh, the ARPA funds as revenue replacement. Yeah. I'd be glad to make a motion for that. And I will second it. Okay, motion made and seconded. Any discussion? 
Yeah, we, uh, we talked about it a little bit last week, but um, basically, you uh, in the final rule, uh, Treasury said that anybody who got ten mil, anybody can elect a standard allowance for a revenue replacement of up to $10 million or the maximum they, the municipality was awarded. If it's less than $10 million, it has streamlined reporting requirements. It can be used for general government services. Um, and so it's generally more flexible. The one area that that there is still debate on, because I'm hearing two different things, is whether or not it can be used for um, direct assistance to, I think for-profit entities are out. I was on a, a webinar last week where they said that nonprofits could ha get direct assistance. So uh, th that's the one area that- that's So you're just looking to see if we can use it for uh, revenue replacement. Right. Yeah. Yep. The full million dollars and nine million ninety thousand, I think. Okay. Give or take. Motion. I am able. And I second it. Already. Already. That, was right. that, that was my discussion. That was a discussion, right? Yeah. That was a discussion. Just makes it Any easy. Any further discussion? So. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Three zero two. All right, uh, select board updates. David? No, I haven't had any other meetings this week, huh? No. I have not had anything this week. It's been nice. Okay, so a couple things from the, the land of seniors, the senior center, Sunland, Deerfield, Whiteley, although the um, thing has Deerfield first, I have to talk to Jennifer about putting Sunland first instead of Deerfield. <laughs> Uh, South County Senior Center, which encompasses the three towns, is going to is going to launch the Walk Massachusetts cha Challenge on May first, twenty twenty two. The Walk Massachusetts Challenge is a community wide walking challenge running May first through October thirty first, and is open to community members age five and over. Each participant chooses from one to four predetermined challenges that are based on distance or frequency. Individuals who complete the challenge receive raffle prizes for themselves and their council of aging. Individual prizes include gift cards of Visa, $50, Amazon, $25, and Dunkin' Donuts, which is 10. Council on aging prize levels range from $250 to $1,000. An annual, and so basically, you're going to be starting here on May 1st between 2 and 4 at Riverside Park. The uh, Senior Center will have refreshments, interactive entertainment with TV the Clown, live music with Chris Jandro, face painting, various vendors including the Franklin County YMCA, Franklin County Mutual Housing and Redevelopment Authority, Friends of Deerfield and more. And uh, they got the, uh, the Senior Center got a uh, grant to do this, so they will be there. Second thing is you talked with Sanderson, the housing, last week. Yep. And again, you know, I want to make sure everybody knows we're going to be continue to continue to talk talk about it. The our senior center housing is on schedule to be completed fall time of this year. There's right now it's over 60 percent completion. They're still going to be installing solar. Um, that ribbon cutting is open house is scheduled for September 15th. But if you have any thoughts about living there or wanting to live there, um, April 22nd at the South County Senior Center, that's this week. Two days. Friday. Friday. It'll we'll be on Friday at the South County Senior Center, which is over at the, uh, the, uh, the church over in Deerfield. For now, there's going to be a there's going to be a presentation about housing. So if you're interested in maybe signing up, there's going to be a lunch presentation on April 22nd, May 1st. There'll be the housing authority will be there to talk about it. Also, 
Uh, May 4th, there's going to be an inf informational session at the Sunderland Public Library from 4 to 6. Uh, May 19th and May 26th are going to be second and third information sessions at the HRA offices up in Turners Falls. Uh, we'll talk about it again on June 15th at the South County Senior Center Annual Picnic. And then on June 22nd, applications uh, meeting the minimum eligibility will be entered into the lottery. And July 13th will actually be the lottery. So if you're interested, you have to start. There's going to be a lot of information coming down. Uh, minimum application details. Again, I know this was said last week, but again, the head of the household must be age 62 or over at the time of the lottery. Combined household income at or below 60% of the AMI based on household size. So one person is $35,340, two people is $40,380, and three people is $45,420. All applications must be returned complete with all information and spaces filled in. All certifications, uh, three of the years of tax returns, all income documents, and all assets documents need to be included. Local preference, current Sunderland residents, currently employed in Sunderland, and children enrolled in Sunderland schools. Maximum rent, one bedroom, $1,090. Two bedrooms, $1,391. So if you are interested, yeah. And I just add that the local preference is only for this first initial round of applications. So um, if you live in Sunderland, work in Sunderland, have a child or somebody that you care for that goes to Sunderland Elementary School and you're eligible, um, you will be competing against a smaller group of other Sunderland residents or affiliated people this round only. If you don't apply, next time you apply, you're competing with everybody else in the pool. And then those dollar amounts for the rent and the dollar amounts on income could vary. Could change because those are last year's right. numbers. Right, correct. Yeah, if for, yeah cause they're, they were hoping to have the numbers, I think, by the first session, I think. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But those are still last year's numbers. So hopefully they get those. Oh, I am hoping. Okay. So the next, our next meeting is Monday, the 25th. Annual town meeting is Friday, April 29th. Annual town elections are Saturday, May 7th. Okay. Anything else? Um, nope. We're going to be applying just applying for a green communities grant for a hybrid police cruiser. Uh, oh, this that's week. right. So fingers crossed. Okay, motion. I motion we adjourn. Second. A motion made seconded to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Select board is out at eight, I mean 748, 745.